Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about how to convert Figma design to WordPress tutorial. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Figma is a pop web-based design and prototyping tool that allows individuals and teams to create, collaborate on, and share user interface and user experience design. It provides a user-friendly interface for designing website, mobile apps, and other digital products. Figma is known for its real-time collaboration features, which enable multiple users to work on the same design project simultaneously, making it a valuable tool for designers, developers, and stakeholders to streamline the design process. While Figma primarily focuses on design, it plays a crucial role in web development by providing a visual blueprint for how a website or app should look and function. Now, WordPress, on the other hand, is also a popular content management system used to create and manage websites. So Figma and WordPress are often used together in the web development workflow. Designer use Figma to create the visual design and layout of a website or application, which can be shared with developers. Developers can use this design as a reference when building the website on WordPress platform, ensuring that the final product closely matches the design specification. In this way, Figma acts as a bridge between design and development in the WordPress ecosystem, helping to create visually appealing and functional website. Now to get this tutorial started, you'll need to head onto Figma's website and then click on to get started for free to create an account. Now you will be able to see the sign up page wherein it will ask you to continue with Google or you'll have the option to continue with email, password, and then agree to join Figma's mailing list and just click on create account. And if you have an account already, just simply click on to log in onto the bottom part. Now once you're logged in, you'd be able to see in here Figma's website. So here on Figma's website, you will be able to see here onto the upper left, your account setting. Also, you can see here onto the upper part, the notification, you could design file Figjam board. And here onto the left side, you'll see your team, your draft. You could see the different plans. So if you want to upgrade for premium features, you have here the favorite files. So as you can see, there, there are the different designs that I have worked on. And what we'll need to do in here, we'll need to go into this explore community button here onto the lower part to check out for free templates that we can use for this tutorial. So here here onto this Figma community, you can explore a thousand free and paid templates, plugins, and UI kits to kickstart your next big idea. Now, if you would scroll down in here, you'd be able to see what is new and you can fund in your creativity. So here are the different templates that the community offers. So you could filter this one out. So if you click onto this, you can choose just Figma, Figma Dev Mode, Fig Jam, and all products. Here onto the resources, you could just click onto files, plugins, and widgets. And you could also click here for paid or free. So let's choose free here. And then you could see in here if you have been following a creator or a designer, you could simply click onto following to see their designs. You could also see Figma partners only. And let's just choose on all creators in here. Now right after, let's choose a template that we could use for this tutorial. So actually, this free templates in Figma offers a valuable resource for designers and developers, enabling them to kickstart their project with pre-designed UI elements and layouts at no cost. So these templates cover a wide range of design styles and purposes from website interfaces to mobile app screens. So Figma templates serve as a practical and accessible starting point, fostering creativity and productivity in the design process while ensuring a professional result. So for this tutorial, we can have this, we could use this Airbnb template as a guide. So just simply click onto your chosen template. Then right after you'll be redirected into this page, you'd be able to see the template title, the designer, if it is rated. So you can see the different ratings in here and how many people have used this. As you can see, there are 107 people who have used this. You could save the file and there is a quick preview onto what the template looks like. So just simply click on to open in Figma. Now, as you can see, we have already the design in here. Let's zoom this one in so that we'd be able to see the different design here. So we have the main menu, the, the move tool, the frame, you have a rectangle, the pen, text, you could add in resources, you could use the hand tool and add in a comment. So here onto the left side, the different layers of the design, the assets, and also here onto the right, further edit the design and the prototype. And here onto the upper part, you could share this within your team. So editing this is really important because it will allow you to customize and adapt existing designs to suit your specific project needs. 
make sure to make use onto these different tools that Figma offers. And for us to get started onto transferring this to WordPress, the first thing you'll need to do is to install the Figma to WordPress plugin. So here's how you'll do it. You'll just simply click onto the main menu button in here and scroll down until you find plugins. So we'll just need to simply click on to find more plugin in here. So once you're in, we'll make use onto the search bar in here. We'll try to search for WordPress to Figma. So let's try to type in, in here, WordPress. So as you can see in here, we, we could see this Figma to WordPress created by Yotaku. So this is the plugin that we're going to use. So we'll just need to simply click onto this run button in here. And once it's done, you'd be able to see that one in here or this pop-up screen. So as you can see, Figma to WordPress, no code required. You just need to start for free and upgrade as you need. So you'll need to enter your email in here to start. Right after entering your email, just simply click on to start now. The next thing that you'll need to do is you need to share your design with Yutako. So you'll need to input in here the Figma URL. So there is also a guide in here on how to do that. And then it should be added. So let's try to do that one out. Let's simply click onto the share and let's click add permission and anyone with a link and then just click on to copy link. So let's close that one out and let's put it in here, our Figma file. So let's click on to create your website. And the next thing that you'll do is frame selection. So you need to select the frame as main page for publishing and add as many screen sizes as needed. So let's just simply click onto this Airbnb as our main page in here. So right after clicking onto that, this add button in here, and as you can see, it was added already. And then right after, just simply click on to continue. And as you can see in here, there is a Yotaku AI assistant. So this assistant will try to automatically detect interactive and WordPress elements, and it will take an estimated time of 11 seconds to complete it. Let's just simply click on to, I want to use it to use this feature of Yotaku AI assistant. As you can see, it is still processing as of the moment right now. And once it is done, it will show analysis is completed. Yutako AI Assistant already analyzed your design. So let's head on to the next step to simply click onto this and it is actually selecting the viewport. So you'll need to choose if it is for desktop, tablet, or mobile. So let's just check this for desktop. Then you need to choose for WordPress element, header, footer, post blocks, and then the web element. So you'll just simply click onto continue. Then right after, you'll be provided with a summary onto the main page and the elements that you have selected. So if you need to change anything, you'll just need to click onto the steps onto the top here, or you'll just need to click onto this here button to go back. So we'll just need to click onto continue to start building your project submit. So we'll just need to wait for this to be finished downloading. And right after it's built, you can see in here that it is already done. So as you remembered earlier, we have put in our email onto the first part onto setting up this plugin. So the theme will be actually received via email. So you'll need to check the email you have input onto the first part of setting up this plugin. So what you'll need to do right after is head into your WordPress account, then simply log in to proceed. You'd be able to see the dashboard already in here. So as you can see here onto the left side, here are the different options such as my home, stats, upgrades, inbox, post, media, pages, comments, feedback, the chatback, WooCommerce, and the appearance, the plugins, user, tool, settings, and collapse menu. So what you'll need to do is simply head on to appearance in here. You'll actually see three different options like themes, editor, and customize. You'll just need to head on to themes for that. So right after clicking it, you'll be able to see the themes in here. And here onto the upper part, you'd be able to see install new theme. Just simply click onto that to add in the file that you have received through your email. So what you'll need to do is you'll just need to drop the file in here so that it would automatically be open. So right after, you'll just need to follow the prompts to install the theme and then you can activate it and start customizing it to your liking. And that's it. You've successfully converted your Figma design into a WordPress theme. Now you can customize and fine tune it to create a stunning website. And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, just put it down onto the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on our next video.